There's a lot of attention on the many health issues that women face, and for valid reason. Perhaps we should also be focusing on the health of young girls in an effort to prevent or decrease the issues we see as women. More than ever, life has become increasingly stressful, and the stress is impacting our young girls. I remember myself at a young age, feeling awkward at times, going through physical changes, and not fully understanding what was happening. The benefit for many of us from earlier generations was the ability to go through those changes with less pressures. Now, with the current environment of social media influences and the extreme visibility of entertainers, there is an added degree of stress placed on our developing young girls. Our hormonal systems are very sensitive to the impact of stress and the environment, especially at critical hormonal shifts in our bodies, such as puberty. The stress not only impacts our hormonal systems, but also our immune systems and increases inflammation in our bodies. In fact, Increased stress during critical points of our development can have long lasting effects on our health, leading to the development of chronic conditions such as chronic pelvic pain and autoimmune illnesses, rates of which continue to increase annually. Early in life, we are seeing conditions develop in our girls, such as early puberty, especially among African-American girls, as well as other menstrual disorders. When young girls first begin having periods, it's not uncommon to skip one or two periods at a time, as periods can be irregular for the first three years after that first menstrual period. This is due to the immaturity of the secretion of our sex hormones. Going more than three months between periods, however, is not normal. Although the frequency of periods may vary for the first few years, having continued irregular periods or heavy and painful periods are not normal. The most common menstrual disorders encountered in adolescence are painful periods, heavy periods, and irregular periods. In addition to the heavy and painful periods, we also see conditions like polycystic ovarian syndrome, premenstrual syndrome, premenstrual dysphoric disorder, endometriosis, anxiety, and depression. Although some of these disorders may have a genetic link, many of these conditions are influenced by an imbalance of our hormones, caused by other factors such as obesity, environmental exposures, nutritional imbalances, and you guessed it, stress. Incorporating the pillars of health at an early age can help prevent and or manage these conditions. This includes having a balanced nutrition comprised of fresh, organic, whole food meals with adequate sources of healthy protein, complex carbohydrates, and healthy fats ensuring an abundance of vegetables and fruits, and avoiding or minimizing processed sugars. Children aged 2 to 18 should ingest less than 6 teaspoons or 25 grams of added sugar per day. Of course, it's unrealistic to think our youth will always eat healthy, right? Eating organic fresh whole foods all the time may not be realistic, so aim to save the processed foods for special events like parties or social gatherings. Try to let it be an exception to the rule and not the rule. Normal physical activity is also important as it can positively influence hormonal balance, reduce inflammation, and improve body composition. Children and adolescents aged 6 through 17 years should perform 60 minutes or more of moderate to vigorous activity per day, including mostly aerobic activity. This should include vigorous activity three days per week incorporating muscle and bone strengthening activity like riding bikes, walking, dancing, running, or jumping. Just like any activity, provide a variety of options and try to ensure it is enjoyable so they will have fun and stay consistent. Adequate sleep cannot be underrated. The benefits of sleep include balancing hormonal levels, controlling metabolism, lowering blood pressure, boosting the immune system, repairing DNA, and recovery from psychological trauma. For children aged six to 12 years, it is recommended to get nine to 12 hours of sleep and eight to 10 hours for teens aged 13 to 18. Stress management is also extremely important, especially during critical hormonal shifts as previously mentioned. Stress comes in different forms, including stress in the home, stress at school, overscheduling, peer pressure, even toxin exposure. Do a full circle check in with your little ones to ensure things are going well 
and work to make the appropriate changes you feel are necessary. No matter what, if there are any health concerns, please be sure to schedule an appointment with your child's pediatrician or gynecologist. Empowering the little women in our lives starts by teaching them how to honor who they are inside and out. Let's teach them how to live well now so they will grow up to be the powerful women they were destined to be. Of course, you know your little ones the best. What do you think they should know now to help prepare them for a healthier future? The earlier young ladies are introduced to the benefits of a healthy lifestyle, the greater the positive shift in women's health overall. Thank you so much for listening. Until the next time, Dr. Shanae.